What were you it hoping to hear? Uh, about the BC packing uh, cooperative that's just gone under. That's incredibly important to people in Creston and across the uh, province because it'll be a disaster for, for Canada. We built the cooperative because America did come up here and, and destroy things. So they didn't discuss that at all. They mm. bypassed the problem with uh, BC ferries wanting to take all the uh, ship construction jobs offshore uh, to some foreign country. And that was a good high for the new ferries. jobs okay. being sent away. Mm -hmm. That's a, a, a sin. Sonia first note was amazing. And she seemed to be the only one that seemed to have a, a strong platform and seemed to talk sense. Uh, about a plan that would actually result in the benefit of BC's populations, and I thought it was really interesting. Her final comment: she wasn't even asking, you know, to uh, to get enough votes to to win the election. She was just asking to get enough votes to be able to not have a, a majority government. What stood out for me is that nobody talked about childcare, and you know, the ten dollar a day and the push for subsidized daycare. It discriminates against all the rest of us who don't want to use that, don't use that kind of care, can't use it, don't want it, uh, which is the majority. So the discrimination against those of us, the kids and the parents and the moms who don't want to use that kind of care. The Truth and Reconciliation is uh, very crucial to Canada. You know, if, if they decide to actually get rid of this, you know, it's, it's going to be so crucial to, to our way of life. We won't, we won't have anything. What, what do we have right now? We have nothing but UNDRIP and Reconciliation. I want to hear people advocating for how we're going to fix homelessness and this crisis that the drugs are flowing onto our streets. Mr. Eby has done nothing over the seven years that he's been around. I would have liked to have heard more about the forest industry. Like, I work in the forest industry. I've been in the forest industry for over 30, almost 40 years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've lost 24 mills in B.C. And that's all due to NDP policies. Mm -hmm. That uh, you know, you got towns like Vanderhoof and Fraser Lake, where the you know the sawmill is all they have, and they're gone. Those towns are going to end up being ghost towns.